Rule number 27, use your cookie jar. When you're afraid of something, you have to master it. That's how you start to overcome it. So what I realized, when I get to that point where I want to quit everybody, they get to the point where they want to quit. This is what happens. The mind tells you, let's go home. Let's take a warm shower. <laughs> let's get some food. This is not right. This is that. If you cannot answer the questions at that moment, because your mind is going to start giving you all these questions, all these questions, and if you can't answer them, you're going to quit. What I realized when I was going through Buds, Ranger School, all this 100 mile race, 200 mile races, pull up records, my mind would come creeping in. Like when I was doing 4,030 pull ups at, at, at 2,000 pull ups and my hands were ripped <laughs> open, my mind said, Look, brother, we've done all these other things. You've proven yourself. You're good. If I didn't have the answer to respond to my mind and say, Why I'm here, why I'm doing this, you will always lose that fight. You have to have the response to what your mind is going to tell you. And another thing about that is self-talk. A lot of people have like these big four on mental toughness. All that's just crap about self-talk, visualization. It's true, but the thing about self-talk and all these things, they ask me, what do you think about when you're on mile 100 of a 205-mile run? What are you thinking about when you realize you've run for 24 hours and you have 24 more hours to run, and you have another 105 miles, what goes through your mind? What do you say to yourself? I want to know. A lot of people think self-talk works. It does. But it doesn't work without the suffering before your mind starts saying we need self-talk. So what I tell myself is I go back to the months and years of preparation to get to that day. And I'm telling myself the 3.30 in the morning, and I'm looking at my shoes, and I want to go out there and run 30 miles. I have to, in that second, in that moment of this self-talk, my mind saying, you got to find more, you got to find more. I once again calm down, go back into my mind, in my cookie jar, I call it, and I have to reflect back on the shit I did to get here. And that becomes my self-talk. Self-talk does not work unless it is real. Most of us lie to ourselves in this self-talk. It doesn't work. It has to be real. It has to be something that you've done to make it really work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video.